Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna to go over how to draw Kuropi from the Sanrio brand. Uh, Kuropi is this awesome, uh, I think he's a lizard. What is he, a tadpole? Wow, I don't know what Kuropi is and I've seen Kuropi for years. Uh, Kuropi has been around for so long. My sister's been into it uh, and it's just a cute design, but it's gonna be real simple, easy and for beginners. Uh, we're gonna be using this Crayola brand marker and we're using regular style paper. It's printing paper. Uh, and that is it. You can use any tools you want. There's suggestions in the description and that is it. So let's get started. First thing I'm doing, I'm gonna draw a circle for one of his eyes. And then another circle of the same size for his other eye. You got this giant eye thing. I totally forgot what Kuropi was, by the way. So if you if you know what he is, please comment. Because I'm not going to look it up right now. I forgot what Kuropi was. Is Kuropi a lizard or a tadpole or a turtle? A baby turtle? Oh, he's not a turtle. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I think he's a turtle, actually. That's my guess. All righty. Then I'm going to throw a the V shape down below. Line down. Line up. Alrighty, I'm gonna draw circles over here, dots, circle, circle, dot over here, line across the bottom, And then toward like so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull a curve a curve but we're gonna we're gonna land out on the bottom portion of his eye on one side curve here okay and then so like kind of even that off and try to make uh, this curve land on the other side as well Gonna draw a circle for a rosy cheek because we're not gonna, you know, color him in right now. So we're gonna draw a circle here for a rosy cheek. And try to make that line thinner than the lines that we're using around it. Curved line over here for the side of his body. Ooh, also, if you like learning, uh, basically if you like sitting around with your friends and drawing whatever you can. Like, if you like drawing your favorite characters from your imagination, like you're just doodling your sketchbook and then maybe your parents are like, wow, you can draw that? What the heck? You know, if, if you want to have that ability to draw your favorite characters from your mind, hit that subscribe button right now because I'm going to be putting up three beginner drawing lessons every single weekday. So Monday, there's going to be, you know, three lessons. Tuesday, three lessons. Wednesday, three lessons. Thursday, Friday. So at the very end of the week, there's gonna be 15 new drawing lessons on every single topic you can imagine. Um, and yeah, just uh, absolutely a great resource. Um, if that's your thing, like I said, um, but like I said, I do that to give you variety. So I wanna give you a variety of things to draw from. So if one day you wanna draw like Among Us, there's an Among Us playlist. If you wanna draw Pokemon, there's a Pokemon playlist. I'm gonna put a playlist for Sanrio. Uh, and that's just kind of like, you know, the category, you, you can choose what you want. I want to give you a buffet to have yourself grow your law, your drawing library in your mind. Um, if that sounds great to you, if that sounds like a great idea and a great resource, uh, subscribe. It's completely free. There is no downside to this at all. Um, it's just good. So I'm going to pull line down here on this side. Pulling across the bottom here. down here for the bottom of the feet. Line over here, line over here. We're gonna draw the bottom of the feet. The feet are gonna be relatively um, like flat. So I'm gonna kind of draw a wiggly line to one side over here and draw a wiggly line to the other. I'm gonna want it to have like three toes generally. Curve line here, wiggly line as well. I'm gonna be aiming for three fingers. Curve line over here, wiggly line over here. A 
line up, line up, line up, line up. I'm going to draw a thin line as a pattern on the outfit there. And sometimes there's a tie here. So I'm going to draw a dot and draw like a tie shape. Very, very simple kind of tie shape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bold out the lines that I've drawn and on, on some areas here, maybe mostly on the outside. Yeah, probably on the outside. And I, I want it to, I just think it looks cool. It makes it look like a sticker, you know? But I'm only, if you have marker, I recommend that. But if you don't, it's all good. Don't worry about it. But uh, while I'm doing that, um, I'll talk to you a little bit. I've been working on this channel for six years and it's been the most rewarding thing I've ever worked on. Um, I mean, so the last six months, I've really been putting it over into overdrive because of the pandemic. And like everyone has been so immensely nice. That's one thing. And everybody's been so nice and so cordial and everybody's been a boost of energy. Um, there's something you can do. Um, and that is to share a video, share this video. Whenever you share a video, it always brings a huge boost of energy to the channel. It brings a huge boost of positivity. It might be just a click for you, but it's this huge, huge boost for me. Um, so if you ever, um, if you ever want to help the channel out and it's completely like free to you and easy, um, you know, press that share button below and share it on any platform, share it on Facebook, because it really does make a giant difference. Uh, I'm gonna fix the lines here a little bit, just kind of thicken them out a little bit, a little bit, not really. Not on the inside that much. Uh, if you like drawing cute stuff, there's a cute drawing ebook. So cute, for example, like this, like cute Kurupi, has um, very specific proportions. So there's usually like bigger eyes. I mean, Kurupi is a, I think we think it says lizard, right? I don't know. Uh, you know, the, the, the eyes are huge for, you know, several reasons, but usually uh, sometimes the eyes are bigger, sometimes they're smaller, and I'm gonna go, or usually the head size is bigger in proportion to the body. It's all proportions when you're drawing something cute. And I made a free ebook, a free resource to help you uh, kind of get that through it. There's a little chart in it. Um, so like I said, uh, you know, subscribe to subscribe to that. I meant, you know, go download that. That is in the description somewhere. You have to find it though. That's the only catch because I buried a lot of stuff in the description. So go find that. Ah, that line's a little too thick, but I'm going to thicken out the other one to even it out. And that's kind of it. Thank you so much for, uh, I'm going to put another line here. Thank you so much. Uh, if that sounds good to you, like I said, go pick that up. Um, say hi to me in the comment section if you got to this point, because if you did, you got to the very end of the video. Uh, and that is it. Um, I reply to every single comment, by the way. There's been easy pictures to draw, and I'll see you next time.